Here are some templates for you to fashion your new scene or level from. They're the building blocks of your masterpiece. Pick one and get cracking. This is Create Mode. You should be feeling very powerful and godlike because you can literally create just about anything you blooming well want to now using the tools and abilities that this mode has on offer. You can even look down upon your vast creations by soaring through the air. In Poppet, you'll find more and more icons at your disposal. Use the menu button to bring it up. Click on the odd-looking tadpole thingy to activate your first lesson. When you're in create mode, your poppet becomes literally charged with an astounding creative power. Open your poppet and abracadabra, magical extra icons appear. This is an opportune time to look at your poppet cursor. It's the funny one on the top row. Looks like a, a sort of tadpole gone wrong. Select it and you'll find you can steer it about with your left stick. So, what can it do? Well, lots of things. Firstly, it can move pretty much any object or obstacle you find around you. Just press the action button to pick it up and use your left stick to direct it. The shuffle buttons move the object backwards and forwards, which is useful for maneuvering around some of the trickier little big planet landscapes. A really cool feature is that once you've positioned said object, press the action button and you can leave the bally thing suspended in mid-air. But beware, when you press the back button to close your poppet and return to your sack person, the spell is broken and the objects come crashing back down to earth. So move your little sack tushy sharpish. Wow, we are really racing through this, aren't we? You rock. OK, so you can make things move. So now let's work out how to make some things to move in the first place. Go into Pop It and you'll find a new icon that's going to help you do just that. Most of the objects you collect as you're gadding about Little Big Planet will end up in your goodies bag. And remember, you can only access your goodies bag when you're in Create mode. Press Menu to open your pocket, then select the goodies bag icon. Peruse and survey with the left stick, then pick an object with the Action button. Now then, you can position it with the left stick. The right stick adjusts the rotation. The shuffle buttons move it backwards and forwards and press action to stamp it into the scene. Press the back button to return to the Poppet main menu. 
and once more to put it away. But remember, when you close your poppet, gravity will return. So look out below. Finally, if you want to delete something, select the poppet cursor and position it over what you want to get rid of. Press the action button to select it, then the delete button, and the pally thing will return post haste to your goodies bag. Phew, did you get all that? Come on then, give it a whirl. It's time for you to make a scene. And no, not like the hissy fit you had in the baker's shop when they'd sold out of croissants. I mean, create a scene for others to enjoy on Little Big Planet. A level with games, puzzles, and wonderment fashioned from your fertile imagination, which you can save at any time by tapping the Start button to access the Start menu and selecting Save Level. Indeed, the start menu and your poppet menu have a large arsenal of goodies to assist you. You've no doubt noticed that the music in Little Big Planet rocks larger than a boulder. So let's have some more. Open your poppet. Select the Tools Bag icon and select one of the music icons that hopefully you will have collected on your travels. Placing them is the same as placing decorations or stickers. So find somewhere you want to make audibly pleasing and press the Action button. You can fine-tune your music with a poppet cursor. Move it over the object, then press the menu button to bring up the music tweak menu. Useful blighters, these tweak menus. And there's plenty of things around Little Big Planet which like a quick tweak every now and again. I know I do. When you're in a tweak menu, it's the left stick to choose a setting. Then the right stick to change it. The volume sliders adjust the level of each of the different instruments within the track. You can tweak which part of the song the music starts playing from. And tweaking the trigger radius determines how close you have to be before it starts playing. Not too loud, mind, or you'll get a letter from the council. Creating things is a doddle, and you can rampage through the creative process like there's no tomorrow, safe in the knowledge that if you do make a Freddy Fluffy, you can simply go back and correct it. The directional buttons allow you to do this. 
the left button will rewind to undo errors. The right button will fast forward in case you didn't really want to undo that error after all. And the up button will pause. But no ordinary pause. Everything in the world is frozen in time except you and your fellow sack people, so you can run riot without breaking anything. Thank <laughs> you.